Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we're gonna talk about helmets. So, when I first started looking at helmets, I didn't really know much. The only thing I'd ever heard was Team Wendy, right? Team Wendy, Team Wendy. And those things are like a thousand plus dollars. So I wanted a NIJ 3A helmet, which is kind of the standard rating for a helmet, and I didn't want to have to pay a thousand dollars. So I ended up going with a Hardhead Veterans helmet, which is this thing right here. Uh, I enjoy it. I like it. A couple things about this, you know, obviously they have the mounting for the night vision up front. They have the M lock on the side to mount uh, lights, lasers, doodads, whistles, whatever. Um, also missile aiming devices. Uh, you can mount your ear pro. These uh, ear pro mounter things here, brackets, I don't even know what these are called. These are also from Hardhead Veterans. I originally, when I first got them, I tightened them too tight so they didn't rotate, but now obviously they can rotate out of the way. You put your helmet on and then just rotate them into place. That's really nice. Big fan of those. They're super affordable. I can't remember how much those were specifically, but super, super affordable. This has a mesh cover on it. This can be removed underneath here. I think you'll be able to see, but that's it is a multi-cam helmet in and of itself. I bought a cover just to cover it. Uh, you can get these in different colors, shapes, sizes, whatever. One thing I will say is that when I got this originally, this was threaded with the bungee in the front and not in the back. I don't know if that was a mistake or not, but I switched that out and, and threaded it through the back because I don't want a bungee thing hanging in my face. <clears throat> the lockup system is real nice, or the chin strap, I should say. This is just a simple magnet is all they have in here that reinforces uh, with some plastic. So it locks up real solid when it's on and, uh, and fits real comfortable. I also bought the advanced padding on the inside here which it took about mm, 10, 12 hours-ish maybe to break in. But now that it's broken in, it's super soft and very comfortable to wear. This is a very comfortable helmet to wear, and I really enjoy that about it. All said and done, I mean, the helmet, minus the Ear Pro, because I just bought that separate, right? But the helmet, the mesh pad, the advanced padding on the inside, and then this little fancy helmet bag that I got from them. It was like under 700 bucks. It was like $670, something like that. So extremely affordable for getting into the helmet game, right? If you want a helmet that's gonna protect your head from dangerous flying objects in a combat area, uh, I would recommend the Hardhead Veterans. I've taken it through a class, uh, I've worn it around when I'm practicing and stuff and just to get the feel of it and I've really come to enjoy it, I've really come to appreciate it and there's just something comforting to know that you have a helmet that can stop a nine millimeter round from puncturing your skull, you know? so. Would recommend this helmet to you, especially as you start to look to get into night vision and stuff like that. You need something to mount it to, right? And you might as well mount it to a helmet if you're going to spend, I don't know how many grand on night vision. So that's where I'm at in my helmet game currently. Would love to know where you're at. And uh, if you have any advice for me in the helmet area, I, I'm, I will admit I'm still learning in this area. Just the bag real quick. The bag is a really good bag. It's like a $50 bag, but it's it's padded, so it's probably got about a half inch of uh, foam in here. I'm assuming that's closed cell. It feels like closed cell, right? Uh, other than that, there's a big open cavern in here. There is a slip pocket in the back. Don't know what you'd really use that for, but it's there if you need it. Zip top. They have a line of, of molly on front or up top, and uh, it's Velcro underneath, so you can put something to it. This is just a front admin pouch in the front here, just with a slip mesh pocket. I just keep some uh, different adapters for the, the ear pro in there. Slip pocket on the side, and then Molly on this side if you want more storage for it. You don't necessarily need this bag if you're gonna store your helmet you know, with your other kit in a big padded bag, but I really like this bag. It's a really good bag for, for what it is and being able to store my helmet and all my helmet accessories with it. And if I ever do get night vision, I will just get a big padded pouch and put it on the side here and keep it all together. So big fan of that bag, actually. It, it's surprisingly simple and well designed for what it is. And it fits the needs of storing my helmet. Uh, great. Even with the ear pro on, the ear pro can just tuck in. I can fit the whole uh, helmet in the bag, no problem. So if you're looking for a helmet, Personally, at this point, I would point you towards Hardhead Veterans just because I think they make a good helmet. I think the price is more than fair, and I would be happy to buy another one of their helmets in the future. If you know something out there that's better, or you know something out there that you prefer, I would love to know what it is and why, and uh, please leave a comment and educate me. Do brave deeds and endure.